Hello and welcome to Taik 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to filter multiple values in Power Query. So there are multiple ways which you can do that. So we will do this in this video here. Before going into that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. I am into Power Query Editor here and here there is a requirement. Let's say for example, I have letter A, B, C and D. The requirement is, the requirement is if the letter is A and B, then it has to show Y, Y and if it is C and D, it has to show N and N. So for this what you need to do is you need to go to add columns on the top ribbon and then click on custom column. It will open up a new window here and let me zoom this here. And inside to this you need to pass this value if list dot contains and then you need to pass the values which you want to add in a curly bracket within the double quotes because of it is a text and then comma the column name which is the letters is a column name which I have it here. If it is yes then it is show show y or else it should be n. So by doing that you will get this value as y and n here. Now instead of that if I change a value like if a and c then will it has to show y if not then it has to show n. If I commit now then this value changes here y for a and y for c and n for b and d here. So this is a quick function which you can use in order to pass the multiple static values inside in the Power Query column. So we'll discuss about the one more way which is the dynamic way in next part of this video. Till then stay tuned and if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.